Shook Ones Part Two by Mob Deep was voted the best beat of all time. I, I'm not angry with that. I will not have disagree a clip. with it. I will not disagree with that at all. Because first of all, I love Mob Deep. Yeah. First of all, I, I love the infamous. Like to me, I don't think Havoc gets nearly the credit he deserves because. They always say Dre, Premier, you know, the, the greats of the yeah. great Timberland. But I just don't think Hav gets the credit he deserves. And I believe by Shook Ones being voted the greatest beat of all times, I believe that kind of gives him credit to be added in that conversation when people mention producers. I definitely agree. And I have a greater appreciation. You'll have a greater appreciation for the beat itself once you see how Havoc flipped the samples. They have a bunch of videos on the original samples to ship one where you can hear the original sample that he got it from and you can hear what he did to it to get it to the level it is. I got to admit it. It is kind of genius the way he flipped it because that's be making myself that's not that's why i said like and and your line of expertise that's what makes it even and and then this is my other argument which makes have like one of the greatest i don't think that's the best beat on that album because the infamous had some great beats on that album i think um life life was awesome i think that beat i think that's one of the best beats on the album I also think that um, Right Back At You yeah, with, with yeah, Ghost I and that. Ray, I think that beat was amazing. Then I can go on and bring have Eye for an Eye. Eye for an Eye is amazing. But I'm going to go to another beat in general. Um, G-O-D, Father Part 3. I think that beat was amazing. Oh, Scarface. Yeah. You know, my joint is the one they did with Koji Rap on Murder Music. The, the, do, the doom, doom, doom. That one. But I think the beat that rivals Shook One's part two that might be even better than that. That's why I'm like, have these be in these discussions when we talk producers. Yeah. Quiet Storm. Oh, yeah. That was pretty dope. And I was thinking, how do you think of a classic beat? Like, what makes it be classic? I'm like, how many, how, if you're a rapper, did you freestyle over the beat? Of course. That's what makes a beat classic. If you were a real rapper, especially back in that era, you had bars over this beat because oh, yeah. that that that's that was the beat of the time. Yeah, that's one of those beats you throw on a niggas got a freestyle. Now, I'm gonna throw a question out. Yes. If Shook Ones was voted number one, uh huh, who would your number two be? It'd probably be some DJ Premier. Uh, most likely what? Um. I wrote the damages joint. Come clean. Come clean. That doom, beat is so doom, hard. Doom, doom, doom. It's like the quintessential battle doom. beat. Okay. Now, I'm going to throw a couple of beats out there that I think are phenomenal. Go ahead. Troy. Yes. I, I think Troy is, in a rap battle. Nah, I wouldn't. But I just think, like, Troy is just a phenomenal beat. I think, like, Pete Rock really. Yeah. Um, Showbiz and AG. Oh, yeah. Which one? Um, Soul Clap. I oh, think yeah. that I think that beat oh, is no, phenomenal. No, no, yeah, no, no. Mm-hmm. I oh. think that beat is phenomenal. Of course. Now, if we get into classic beats, of course, my joint is the artifacts. Artifacts from the wrong side of the mm-hmm. tracks. Artifacts from the wrong ninety-three wrong side. till infinity. Yeah, is another beat that could be considered. I love Souls of Mischief. A, 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 a goat beat. That beat is so. Ooh, that, serious when we're talking about kanye kanye has a couple of serious beats that be could be in consideration i like just blaze better i saw this argument and i think it's a worthwhile argument so the just blaze kanye beat um who's better i I give it to just i think that that could be a debatable like kanye gets a lot of credit for just blaze just as fire yeah i think just as fire Better, um, better producer. Um, and the beat I like to go to for Just Play is the Pump It Up beat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that that beat dope. is serious. That beat is serious as hell. Yeah, he took it. Because it was originally done for the What's the Scenario remix. 
And the way Just Blaze did it, he flipped it and made it better. That's why I like it. Um, Just Blaze got too many hits, man. I also like um, Uncle Al. I think Uncle Al's phenomenal. Uncle Al? Alchemist. Oh. I think Alchemist, we're going to make it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tep- Alchemist is one of my personal uh, top. I want to put him in my top 10, but he's. I think Al- Alchemist is in the top 10. He's yeah. done so much stuff. I think Alchemist is up there. Dre and them, I, I believe, like, there are other producers that are on the same level as Dre and them yeah. that just don't get the love that they deserve. Great. So, all right. What's up? Um, any other beats or are you ready to, to, to move on? Let's move on. Okay. 